This is Wilms Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net. Josh Thomas's uh, campaign to, to rename Coon Cheese uh, because uh, uh, of the, the racial connotation with the word coon. Uh, and I've already established that uh, uh, Coon Cheese uh, was named after uh, Edward William uh, Coon, the, the man who formulated the, uh, the Coon Cheese flavor that uh, all of us uh, Australians join. Well, Josh Thomas, uh, he has uh, succumbed to, well, fallen victim to the, the, the common occurrence of the, the left eating their own. And uh, he's had to apologize uh, for a, a, a old clip uh, that resurfaced, uh, uh, which sparked a racism row. A super ashamed Josh Thomas has publicly apologised for comments he made about hiring non-white actors during a panel discussion at the Sydney Opera House in 2016. A clip of the Writer's Room event emerged on social media. In it, Thomas, a comedian, that should be in inverted commas there, who created and starred and wrote and sometimes directed his cultish hit series, Please Like Me, discussed how hard it is to find experienced non-white actors to fill roles. The other thing about making a television show that I didn't know about, that I found felt confronting, is that because you have to pick every person in the show, it's like, Josh, what do you want the 7 award? 7-Eleven worker to look like. It's like, um, do you make them Indian or is that offensive? Or do you make them white? Is, is that a bit like you're lying really? And then he went on to say that finding people who have been given the same opportunities where they get, a, get to go and be great at acting is really hard. When some of the other shows are hiring people who are non-white, finding experienced actor who isn't white is is really hard. And I commented about this uh, last night uh, on Trad Tasman Talk that uh, Josh Thomas, he, he's basically perpetuating the or, uh, the difficulty that actors, no matter what their uh, background, to, to break through because how can you get uh, experience if no one's uh, given you a, a gig? That's, the, uh, the, that's always the, the paradox there. But uh, Coon cheese, it, it, it's, it's not the only campaign uh, to, to have a, a business brand name renamed. Uh, the uh, Colonial Brewing Co. Uh, based in, in Western Australia, uh, there's campaigns to have uh, its uh, name changed. And the, the managing uh, director of uh, Colonial uh, Brewing Co., Lawrence uh, Dowd, he released this Facebook video uh, last night. Uh, let's have a look at this. Okay, hi guys. Uh, my name is Lawrence Stout. I'm the Managing Director of Colonial Brewing Co. Um, in the last 24 hours, our name has popped up in the social media channels and there's been uh, a lot of um, debate about our name and what it means. Um, some have been highly offended by its name and its historical reference. Uh, which we understand, um, but we've also um, had a huge amount of positive feedback about our band, brand and our business. Uh, we just wanted to tell everybody that we're going through the process of reviewing and better understanding what this name means and hopefully we can land on a, in a place where we're, um, we're all comfortable and we're, we're making a considered decision about our future and where we're going. So I want to know, every, everybody's making massive comments online, just know that we're looking at them, we can't respond to everything, but we appreciate your, um, I guess, your uh, feedback and um, we want to take you on this journey and just um, bear with us for the moment, but um, we appreciate it. So, cheers. Thank you. Uh, and the word cuck and cucking comes to mind uh, there and it reminds me of uh, this, this. On behalf of the Coopers board and senior staff, we're incredibly saddened by the impact our involvement with the Bible Society has had on our valued Coopers drinkers and our extended family. As a long-standing philanthropic company, Coopers Brewery has been passionate about supporting all aspects of our community and has actively and financially embraced many different organisations. Our company's guiding principles have centered around respect for others and as such, the recent activity surrounding the video made by the Bible Society has conflicted with our core values. Cooper's never intended to make light of such an important issue and would never and did not approve the making or release of the Bible Society video debate. 
Cooper's Brewery is and has always been supportive of diversity and encourages individualism. Our company supports marriage equality. Offence has been taken by our recent involvement, for which we are deeply sorry. We've listened to a range of community views. We acknowledge this feedback and respect everyone's individual opinions and beliefs. We've consequently cancelled the release of our Bible Society commemorative cans and will be taking steps to show our further support for our community, including joining Marriage Equality Australia. Our company brews great beer that we're passionate about and we warmly embrace all Australians. Thank you for your time and your continued support. Yes, does everyone remember that uh, when uh, the Bible Society of Australia, they uh, released a, a marriage uh, equality uh, discussion, or same-sex marriage, I should say, discussion between uh, Liberal MP uh, Tim Wilson and Andrew Hastie. It was part of their, their Keeping It Light series. This was before the, the marriage law postal survey and it was an incredibly light and respectful discussion between Tim Wilson who was supportive and Andrew Pasty who was uh, opposed but it caused massive outrage and so Coopers uh, pulled uh, the their, their sponsorship of the series pulled their Bible Society commemorative uh, cans and released that uh, uh, apology video and you can see the grim looks uh, on the the uh, the directors of cooper's faces there and i thought i'd contrast it what is it with australian beer companies and and cucking uh, with uh, lawrence dowd you could see in that uh, facebook live uh, video he was very shaky and he was very nervous uh, he was on the uh, today show uh, this morning uh, to comment further on this outrage he said it has never been a part of our narrative to celebrate colonialism or imperialism we have been very forward about that mr lawrence said the company is reviewing its name after a melbourne bottle shop chose to take the range off the shelf he clarified colonial brewing co originated in 2004 when its name came from the micro brewing company colonizing in the famous margaret river wine region they were basically colonizing a beer company in a very famous wine region, Mr. Lawrence said. That's where the name came from. I don't think there was any malice in starting the name. So yes, we shall follow if they decide to, to change the name and bend the knee to the, the mob as, as Coopers did uh, three years ago. This is Will's Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net.